Happy New Year everyone, it's 2026 and we're starting this year with a powerful tutorial. Today I'll show you how to create dark tunnel files using SSH plus your SNI. Simple, fast and 100% working. This video is for educational purposes only. We shall not be held responsible for any misuse of the provided content. First, what you're going to do is to open your browser and search for sshocean.com. Once there, on the menu bar, you're going to click on services. Then you're going to select SSH WebSocket. After doing that, you're going to scroll down, then select one of the provided servers. I'm going to select this one, for example. Now you're going to continue scrolling down. Then you're going to click on Get Started. Scroll down again, and then you're going to type in any username and password of your choice. Once done, you're going to click on Create Account. Once your account has been created, you're going to scroll down here. As you can see, it says account has been successfully created. Next, you're going to copy these. What you will need first will be the host name. So you're going to copy your host name. You're going to copy your username. You can also copy the password, but since it's simple, one, two, three, four, five, I won't copy it. Then you're going to copy the payload, the SSL for slash TLS payload. So you're going to click on it and it will be copied. The next thing you're going to do is to get your SNI. To get your SNI, go to snihost.com. I will leave a link in the video description for both the websites. Now, once you're there, you're going to scroll down until you see this one says SNI back host generator. You're going to click on open SNI generator. Now you're going to type in your country. Then you're going to select it from the drop down. After that, you're going to copy one of the provided SNIs. For example, I'm going to copy this one over here. Once your SNI has been copied, you can now open Dark Tunnel. After opening Dark Tunnel for the first time, it will look something like this. What you're going to do is to click on these dots over here. Then you're going to click on Inject Config. Then you're going to click on mode. Now we're going to click on direct with SNI. That's the only thing you need to change. Now you have to replace the following with your own information. First, you're going to replace localhost with our name saver. So just replace it with the name saver you've copied. So this will be your name saver. Let's go to our clipboard and We'll find our name saver. This will be our name saver, the one which we've copied. The next thing you're going to do is to replace the port with 443 or port 80 or any other port which you want to use. Then you're going to replace username with our username, the one which we've copied. So make sure you replace the username with your own username. For the password, you're going to put on a password which you've also copied. Remember our password was one, two, three, four, five. Then the next thing you're going to do under save a name indication, you're going to paste in your SNI. So the one which we copied from snihost.com, we'll paste it over here for the payload. You're going to replace everything with the payload which you've copied from sshocean.com. So make sure you paste in your payload just like that now all your configuration has been set you don't have to change anything else everything is now correct all you have to do is to click on connect and you will be connected let me show you just click on connect and you have to wait for a little bit doesn't take long until you get connected as you can see we did get connected really quick if you want to save the file you can disconnect and then click on the menu again. Now, all you have to do is to click on config. Then you're going to click on export. Now you can choose whether you want to export it as a clipboard or as a file. Uh, I'll select file here, for example. Then you can give your file a name. You can leave any message. Then you can lock or unlock the file depending on what you want to do with the file. And then you can export the file. Once exported, you can find it on any folder which you've selected where you want to save it. So 
That's how you can create your own .NET file in 2026 with, SSH, with your SSH server and your SNI. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Our goal is to reach 1K sub within the first three months of this year. So I'll appreciate your subscription. Thank you for watching this video. Peace.